Santa used to bring presents upon Christmas Eve. Do you want some cookies? Uh, yes please. There you go. But then... The mysterious woman came. And with her arrival... Santa's sanity went. Santa blamed the elves for his loss. And in his endless rage, he took their lives. Until the elves were no more. Or so he thought. Yo guys, what's up? Looks like I'm the only elf left. Well, I'm gonna take revenge then. And the first thing I did was to smash the heads of some homeless people, as you do. One of those naughty boys even hit a frosty coke for me. What a shame. I'm gonna take it anyway. In my newfound first for blood, I killed another homeless person. After I did that, I sat down by a nice cozy bonfire to think about my revenge plan. The woman's gotta pay for what she did to Santa. I think showing her the middle finger won't be enough though. Anyways, I continued my journey. And after I've bet up another homeless person, I noticed that I forgot how to jump because I played too much Elden Ring apparently. Well, I guess I don't need the item anyway, so I just took out my thrust on another homeless person. Oi, the fuck mate, don't shoot at me. I'm gonna get ya. Pow! And now is about the time where I catch my first Pokemon of the run. I just have to pull out this uh, metal toothpick first. Ooh, here we go. Looks like this Pokemon is weak to parry attacks. Too bad, it's one of my specialties. Another one. Well, that was easy. Might as well point down. Oh, great. Look at that. We got his toothpick. Wow. Uh, well, anyway, uh, let's move on. So next I opened this big ass door. I'm not exactly sure how I can do this with my feeble hands, but hey. Don't question the game. So next I got the shield and took part in a battle to find out who has the most ripped clothes ever. 
かずかなきゃてめえをぶちのめせないほほう現世のような必死こいた気分で教えてくれたというのに何試験終了チャイム直前まで問題を解いている受験生のようなオラのヒカープラチナとうりーあーいいっす Okay, but now that I won the battle of the most ripped clothes ever, I sat down by the fire to regain some health. After I did that, I got in the mood for a little bit of jump and run action. So I decided to go out, touch some grass and some roots and try to get up this roof. This rewarded me with some bones, an Estes shard and behind this hidden wall, most importantly, the ring of swag. I couldn't resist but to equip it right away. No, oh, yeah, I can feel the swag. So I continued to make my way back down to the bonfire to reset the item drops of the old man. I swiftly equipped them and now I can say I'm the boy with the most ripped up clothes in the whole game. Take that old man. Okay, but anyway, now we are at the high wall of Lothric. The only place which is more run over by hollows than a Green Day concert. I lit another bonfire and continued on my way to hurt some grandmas. Oh yeah, there she is. Look at that grandma. Come here, bitch. You may now call me Granny Shifter from now on. But one grandma wasn't enough, now the Green Day fans have to go. However, this Green Day fan gave me some trouble. Because he used the ancient technique of just sitting down and giving up. But eventually I got him, of course. Nah, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. I know I'm uh, awesome and stuff. Uh. I took another jump from the top and now I'm sprinting to the dragon's wing to get some golden shower in. Uh, I mean gold, gold resin, of course. Huh. Yeah, uh, there it is. Uh, resin. Resin, boys, resin. So I found some more Green Day fans and took care of them. Of this one. This one. <laughs> nice try dude. And this one. I took two more plunges down, went outside only to find out that this place is just swarmed over by Green Day fans. Luckily I had a dragon to help me with my duty. And to continue my speedrun I just had to wait for this guy to get past. And now I could start running again. I lit up the next bonfire and sat down to refuel my Estes. And if someone didn't know already, in this corner you can find a small shard. There you go. Okay, I now got down to the next area, broke these crates and sprinted over this wooden railing to get this green herb. It might come in handy later, right? Spoiler warning, I didn't use it for the rest of the run. So, eh. Next up, I grabbed this broadsword, jumped down here to get the Astora sword, which, again, I couldn't really use cause I'm just too underleveled for it. But, hey, now I have it, right? Anyway, I moved down to the lower floor, got hit by a bomb, but hey, I still got a Estus shard. I tried to avoid the attacks of these angry boys, which I actually managed to do. I now walked through the door to plunge down into the lower levels of the castle, and while I was at it, I just grabbed another sword. And once again I got ambushed by some Green Day fans. I managed to take one out though, grabbed another Ember to prepare for the boss fight and here we go. Oh boy, I sure hope there's no big armored big chungus behind my back. Oh, what a surprise, it's just a ball of fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, here we go. It probably has a very scary roar. Oh my god. That was fucking scary, bro. So 
So, this boss fight is fairly easy. You just gotta stay under his belly and clap his cheeks from time to time. Making the same generic ass clap joke as thousands of other YouTubers before me. Check. Hey, don't blame me. It worked for them. Most of them got over a thousand subscribers, so... They have to do at least something right. Right? Well, anyway, I tickled his belly for the whole boss fight. And my go-to tactic to avoid his charging attacks is just rolling right into them. You'll have a large attacking window when he's charging up his frost beam. But be careful, he'll follow up with a running attack which will definitely damage you even if you stand just behind him. And yes, I failed my first try cause I got stuck in the corner and didn't see anything, but I'm not giving up. So I made my way back to the boss arena to finish him off once and for all. And there we are again. So this time I made sure to use my golden shower, uh, resin to boost my damage. Now covering a sword in a shiny golden substance proves to make the fight a whole lot easier. In fact, I just noticed while editing that I fought the whole fight without even taking damage. And just like that, the beast was slain. It was so easy in fact, it deserves another point down. I am the one, the way After big armor chunk is death, I sat down by another bonfire. Okay, all that was left to do now to leave the area was to rob the old lady of her favorite washcloth to impress some cute anime succubus, in hope they would give me a free ride to Scotland. Well, thanks for the ride, Sukubus chan So, after I arrived in Scotland, I lit another bonfire, got down to pet some dogs. Fun fact, if you come from this direction, they won't even notice you and you can just tickle them. I grabbed the skull and ran to make Dream proud of me. Unfortunately, it looks like Scottish people aren't the friendliest, because they really didn't want me inside their home. So, their dog spit me to death and I had to respawn. Ah, goddamn Scottish people. But I didn't let myself get discouraged and tried and tried again. After I finally managed to get inside, I uh, fell to my death. But I woke up once again, cause all good things are free, right? So I finally made my way to the settlement where I played a game of fetch with the townsfolk. Yeah, that's right boys, don't be shy. Go get the ball. Go get it. Whoa, I threw that a little bit too far. Ah, don't worry boys, I have another one. Oh, uh, whoops. So anyway, they didn't like to play fetch with me anymore, so I just decided to punish them. Cause a really good boy should always get the ball for you, no matter how dangerous it is or how far you throw it. It looks like I was a little too loud for their local librarian, cause she got up and tried to hit me with her stick. But that was fine by me, cause I already read the whole Berserk manga. So I fooled around with the local inhabitants a little bit more, grabbed another Estus shard and lit another bonfire. Oh boy, what a lovely day we have today. I hope it doesn't rain. So anyway, after the weatherman lied to me, I made this jump, grabbed another bone shard and uh... Well...
But that wasn't too much of a problem cause I got the power of respawning. I ran back to invade the home of the guys who lived there, brutally murdered them, as you do, and ran up this path through a giant hole in the wall, opened another door, and while I was looking for another shortcut, I encountered the fat rat. Hmm, so this is where he makes his music. What a weird guy. So anyway, I ran past some guys who aggressively tried to sell me their pottery, up to another door which I opened, and it looks like this man was very angry at me because I didn't take any interest in his pottery. Hmm. It looks like he got very angry at me so he struck me down after which he ran to the elevator to annoy his next customer victim. Aha! Looks like he also didn't want anything to do with his pottery. So the guy got very angry and frustrated with us. Regardless, I still took the elevator down and now I will show you an easy method to get rid of the frost knight. You'll just have to lure him to the elevator and take a ride back up. It looks like he really doesn't like to be alone, so he straight up killed himself to escape his eternal depression. Stupid! However, he was nice enough to give me his eye sword. I opened another door and continued to make Green proud of me. After I ran through the whole path of sacrifice, I lit another bonfire. After which, I continued my dream speedrun. And I lit another bonfire. <laughs> okay, stop. You will now see me try to perform a jump which took me 2 hours, but I'm not gonna annoy you with that, so I'm just gonna show you the result. If you really want to see me suffer for 2 hours trying to pull off this jump, um, you can click this video here. Okay, now let's move on with the video. Yep, and that guys has to be one of the proudest moments I've ever had in my life so far. Well, eh, whatever, let's just move on with the video. So I continue to make my way through this cross section and yes, before you ask, this boss bar will stay there until I or the boss dies or I teleport or something. But I drop down here, grab this set of armor and escape the librarian. By the way, am I the only one who really likes this place here? It's a shame you can't invade it. I lit this bonfire after which I decided it's time to attack some poor peasants on the sidewalk. Just for fun. Whew, that got really close, but not close enough. Point down. Hmm, I feel like smashing another one. What a noob. And while I was continuing my journey to the cathedral, I got ambushed by teleporting dogs. Some Green Day fans on fire? And most importantly zombies. All that while this goddamn dog still keep chasing me. I ran across this bridge with this pregnant dude and could finally say farewell to the good boy. Bye good boy, bye. I made my way up some more stairs. Then down some small stairs. 
And then I finally discovered this shortcut. Which drops you right down to the part where some Green Day fans are praying to the librarian. However, I just ignored all that and just kept running and 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 running until I could finally rest my feet by taking an elevator. After which I kept running and 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 running until I arrived at this bonfire. So I lit it and listened to what the old man had to say. Apparently he wanted to sell me some candy, so obviously I took his offer. My mom always told me to be kind to strangers, so refusing his offer would probably be very rude. Just a moment then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it that is. Go on. Mmm, this looks like some good old tooth killing nice tasting candy. I'ma take it, thank you. Ah, uh, oh no, what is this? Looks like I got pranked by the tooth fairy. Oh no, I'm sorry, I will never take candy again, I'm sorry. No! So, uh, looks like I'm in the realm of the tooth fairy now. Uh, gotta make the best of it, maybe I can find Santa here. So despite the two fairies scaring me of candy for life, I lit this bonfire and continued to make Dream proud in my speedrun. Looks like some doggies couldn't let go of me, so I had to deal with them. By the way, if you're from Peter, please divert thy eyes now. I'm scared of what you guys might tweet about me if you see this. And if you're wondering what I did to the doggies, well, let's just say I scratched their belly a little bit. They liked it so much that they got all their friends to join in. So I gave them a little scratch too. Unfortunately, they were a little bit too much to handle. Okay, Peter guys, you may now look on the screen again. Okay, so now that I was done with playing with the doggies, I made my way to the Crow Demon settlement. But on the way there, I found a little crystal lizard, which I um, also scratched his belly? Yeah, I'm gonna tell Peter that. But now it was time for a little fun on the snow slide. Woo! That was a lot of fun, right boys? I grabbed another green herb, which I'm never gonna use, ran through this doorway, and got ambushed by this big scary crow demon. However, I didn't think much of it, cause I exactly remembered where the ladder would be. Well, also I thought, cause I remembered it to be on the wrong side, so... Yeah. There it is. But this death is no reason to be sad, cause now I could use the funny snow slide again. Yay! Oh, what fun. So I got past the scary crow demon again and this time I knew where the ladder was. So I quickly got up and watched as the scary crow demon desperately tried to hit me. I lit another bonfire, I dare you to take a shot every time I say it by the way. And continued to make my path through the crow demon village. Luckily, I've been here before and didn't get pushed off the edge by some rude villagers. I climbed up another ladder while getting spit on by a very naughty bird. Climbed up another ladder to get on the roof. I ran over this bridge, got on the roof and dropped down to open up another shortcut.
Ah, yes, there we go. After I did that, I made friends with this dude in order to avoid fighting him, as he is very strong. Sadly, he didn't really like me. So I tried and tried my luck again and again. But for some reason he was very angry and didn't really want me to talk to him. So I had no choice but to parry him. Sadly, that did too less damage to be worth it. So I decided to take a different approach. I took him outside for a nice relaxing walk in the snow. He was a little shy at first, but eventually I got him out of his comfort zone and he was happy to go along with me. Cause apparently he never wanted to be friends with me. Well, doesn't matter, Karma took care of him. Now that I got the contraption key, I let down the stairs which lead up to the upper levels. So I got up there only to find a little sassy child who didn't really want to talk to me. Well anyway, I lit another fire. Take a shot by the way. Cut down this tree to activate another shortcut. And got back on my way to play with some doggies. But apparently they didn't really want to play with me, so I just left them where they are. Oh yeah, and there were also some lost vikings which uh, apparently didn't like me either. So anyway, I got into this cave, but one little doggy really wanted to play with me, so he followed me the whole way. Until, well, a fly tried to smooch me. This was of course too disgusting to live with, so I just killed myself voluntarily. However, after I got back, I could finally activate a contraption to open center's door. As ashes will be, ever seeking fire. Huh, Santa got a weird ass door. So a fly tried to kiss me again, which again is too disgusting to live with, so I voluntarily took my life again. I arrived back at the firelink shrine where I upgraded my Estes flags to plus 9. And now that I was ready and prepared for the final boss fight, I finally took the walk over the hanging bridge to the boss arena. So I ran and ran and ran and ran and... Oops! Ah, uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. Well, uh, okay, here we go again. This time, I took the fingers off my controller, I only ran, and yeah, I made it over the bridge. At least I did better than PewDiePie when I walked over the bridge. So I arrived at the final door, opened it with ease, cause apparently I'm really, really strong. And wish Frida bad luck for the fight, after which she just disappeared like the black kid. 
I reached Santa and now it was finally time for the final fight I had to fight to help Santa regain his sanity and save Christmas. Okay, here we go. Soul level 1, unupgraded weapon, Sister Frida, boss fight, let's go. And with that, Frida was no more. And Santa has never been more happier. Look, he even got out the festive red carpet to celebrate. At first he couldn't believe his eyes, but yes! I finally saved him from Frida. Isn't it nice Santa, isn't it? Ah, oh, look at his eyes, you can see his joy. And now he even let out a scream of relief. Ah, no problem Santa. And thanks to Baron's Castle for inspiring me to making this sort of video. If you want to see more like these videos, I can really really recommend his channel. He's great. But now it's time to rest. And thanks to all my subscribers who didn't unsubscribe in this long period where I didn't upload. Thanks for everything. Also Merry Christmas, although it isn't Christmas anymore and I'm kinda late with this video, but you know, it's the spirit that counts.